Hey, what is going on overclockers? This is Blue Dell with overclock.net. Today we're gonna take a look at it, some external storage options. Blah, blah, it's boring. This little guy throws RAID 0 into the mix. Coming from Silverstone, a company well known for making quality cases and power supplies, as well as other PC related odds and ends. This is the DS223, an external USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C dual 2.5 inch external enclosure. Well, so what, right? Well, with so many one terabyte SSDs getting cheaper and cheaper by the day, it's starting to make a whole lot more sense to have an SSD for external storage than the normal mechanical hard drive of years past. Sure, you could have tons more capacity with a mechanical hard drive, but at the cost of speed. Speed of which is USB 3.1 Gen 2's forte, 10 gigabits per second, or about 1250 megabytes per second. So with high-end hybrid mechanical hard drives like the Seagate Fire CUDA running at 5400 RPM, with SSD caching, speeds get up to about 140 megabytes reads and writes, with capacities up to five terabytes in the two and a half inch variant. Once RAID zeroed, maybe the configuration would hit 275 megabytes respectively. Take the Western Digital Black, for example. Running at 7200 RPMs, speeds aren't really that much different at 120 megabytes per second on reads and writes. So what can saturate the pure potential of the USB 3.1 Gen 2's bandwidth? Hmm, light bulb. SSDs. SATA 6 SSDs top out around 550 megabytes for reads and writes. However, the closer we get to the 1250 megabyte number, when we RAID 0 of them, almost fully saturate the bandwidth of the DS223's USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C connection. So the construction of this little guy is really good. Made from machined aluminum with a tool-free installation by design, swapping out drives is really no issue at all. In the front is a tasteful silver stone branding as well as USB 3.1 branding in the upper right corner. Also present is the light indicators for power Power, disc 1 and disc 2. Flipping the DS223 to the rear is a power switch, a 30 millimeter low noise fan, USB 3.1 type C connection, a DC 5 volt power input, set button and options for disc configurations. Non-RAID, RAID 0, RAID 1 and JBOD are set via dip switches. Today we'll be using the RAID 0 configuration which is one up and one down. Included with the DS223 is a T5 screwdriver, screws to mount HD SSDs and USB Type-C to Type-C cable. It's nice to see a cable that's included because it would be a major pain in the to find one if you didn't already have a USB Type-C cable in your possession already. I should also mention that you also get a user's guide manual as well. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Installation and performance of this tiny beast. Installation is done by unscrewing the four T5 screws on the front of the DS223. The front plate comes off relatively easy, exposing a rectangular foam pad to aid in lessening any vibrations that may occur when using a mechanical hard drive. We won't have to worry about that today since we're using SSDs. Once inside, you'll see two two and a half inch drive sleds made from plastic. They do the job just fine. Peering inside, you'll see the PCB where the two SATA 6 drives will connect alongside their respected SATA power plugs. Once the drives are installed, which the drives I use today are the ADATA SU800 1TB 3D NAND SSDs with SLC caching. Setting up the drives in RAID 0, from what I remember, was harder than I recall. Attempting to go to disk management on my Windows 10 Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop was a no bueno. Wow, has it really been that long since I did this? But to my defense, I've always set RAID arrays in the BIOS anyway. Off to the manual I went. So actually setting up RAID is easier than I thought. Who would have known? All you have to do is flip the dip switches on the back to whatever RAID configuration you want and with the USB Type-C cable plugged in, hold the set button until your computer pops up with the drive or drives. Then all you need to do is set your drive size and you're done. It's that easy. Now on to performance. Keep it in mind that the USB 3.1 Gen 2 isn't so common. I have plugged the USB-C connection into my Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop expecting over 1000 megabyte reads and writes. Wrong. I was getting about 430 megabyte reads and writes. Not what I had in mind. Come to find out that the Type-C port on my Acer Predator Helios 300 is only USB 3.1 Gen 1. So what's the difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2? Well, Gen 1's bandwidth tops at about 5 gigabits per second or about 625 megabits per second. Thankfully, the test bench, which consists of an 8700K on an Asus Z370 Maximus X code, does have that blessed USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port and as well as Type-A ports via the rear I.O. This fared much better in benchmark 
benchmarks with 1008 megabyte reads and 884 megabyte writes in AS SSD and Anvil storage utilities. It was pretty much the same story on both utilities. So I guess it is possible to break 1K megabyte reads via an external enclosure. So on with the pros and cons. Starting with the pros, the DS223 is a very small and very well-built enclosure that has great options in terms of storage flexibility. The USB Type-C connection for most people is going to be a bit of a new thing, but getting more common as newer devices are coming out every day. I know I'm on my third USB Type-C Android device, so yeah. The cons, or should I say con as in singular, the screws, yes, the screws are not consistent throughout the DS223. The outside of the DS223 are T5 screws, which with the included T5 screwdriver, I was expecting more T5 screws to hold the drives in. Nope, I was wrong. The included screws are Phillips head screws. Now, that's not a huge deal, just not consistent. So now I had to go get a small Phillips head screwdriver to complete installing the two 888 SSDs. Again, not a huge deal, but just something to note. So the Silverstone DS223 is quite an interesting device. It's small enough to be minimalistic on a desktop or small enough to be travel worthy. The DS223 gets a solid four and a half out of five flames from me. Very solid, well done Silverstone. Okay guys, I'm gonna go. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, you know what to do. Blue Devil, out.